Hello, my name is Vladimir Sinkov. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon at New Hampshire Orthopedic Center. This is Tim, one of our physician assistants who volunteered to be a patient. Uh, today we're going to go over kind of basic uh, cervical spine exam uh, that uh, you may use in your clinical practice. So um, just to cut uh, straight to the chase, uh, in general, the cervical spine exam, just like any musculoskeletal exam, there are three basic elements, observation, palpation, and test of function. You always start with observation. I uh, usually start with a gait analysis on any patient with cervical or lumbar spine problem. Uh, I either see them walk into the room, sometimes I do that later and see them walk out of the room. For the cervical spine in terms of gait, you're basically looking for ataxia, which may um, be a result of a cervical myelopathy. Um, and you have, uh, once they're seated and walked in, the next observation you do is the position of the neck, see if the neck is tilted one way or the other, see if the neck is bent forward, either in a permanent contraction of a cervical spondylosis or if they're holding it that way because of a cervical stenosis. Once you're done with a um, just simple examination, you may note, especially if they have a t-shirt or less than that on, if there is any muscle wasting. Uh, I usually, if they're closed on, I don't always make the patient take their clothes off completely to evaluate for muscle wasting. I try and palpate through a t-shirt that makes it much easier, especially if the patient has a lot of pain and may be very painful for them to dress and undress, and I don't do it unless I absolutely have to. So, Tim uh, walked in, I saw him do a normal gait, so I don't think he has any significant ataxia. His neck is uh, fairly straight, uh, he's not pointing too far forward, too far backwards, he's not tilting one way or the other, so his muscle balance is fairly good. I look at the muscles in the back of the neck, make sure there's no um, muscle wasting there or uneven distribution or swelling in one muscle which may indicate muscle spasm as well. Um, 